Okay, we've um, got with us now in the 141 pound championship, Bo Bartlett from Penn State. Bo, if you could uh, get us started with some general comments about your semifinal match. That was a lot of fun. I know that's a cliche, but man, I don't think I've ever gotten a turn in a, a high level college folk style match. Not really, uh, I haven't shown to be good on top, but I got a turn today. So things I've been working on all year, whole life, they are, they're clicking. Okay, if you've got a question, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Give us your name and your affiliation, please. Ryan Holmes, Intermet. Bo, you talked about your offense. A lot of your matches this year were very close, either one point, couple points here or there. But this weekend, two falls. You're turning your old teammate. What is clicking for you? How did you feel out there? This support system, um, teammates, parents, coaches, all kinds of people behind the scenes, they've really helped me. I think technically there's some things that I've looked to improve on. You gotta, if you wanna win, win more matches, you gotta score more points. Gotta get out of bottom, you gotta turn guys. But I think I've had a majority of these skills for such a long time and I've been refining them and get, getting better there. But mentally, I uh, letting go of the outcome. And that's really easy to say when you're, when you're winning, to say let go of the outcome and just, just love the sport. It's an awesome to be there. See all the fans, see all the crowd, see all of you guys taking time out of your day because you guys want to be a part of this. It's awesome. Not taking that for granted and just loving that. That's what I've been telling myself before every match. Win or lose, forget about it. I just want to go compete and love this. Okay, we've got a question on the second row here on the right. Jim Carlson, Harrisburg. Well, you split with Mendez this year. Um, what did you learn from each of those matches and then you know, how will you approach it tomorrow night? I think in our first match, when I won, I didn't walk away with much to learn from. He did. And you want to learn as much as you can from every win and loss, but the fact of the matter is if you lose, you have more things to learn than if you win. He beat me, he beat me last time. I've been focused. Okay, let's go over here on the front row on the left. Bo, Mike Finn from win. You used the word, you said letting go when, even when you win, but letting go when you lose. Is it, is it, how do you learn yet let, let things go? A lot of high-level athletes have been touching more on mental health recently. I think that's very important. It's, it's hard out here, right? It's hard. And if you make, if I were to make my entire life just about wrestling and just how, I, how my wrestling success is, which is what I've done most of my life, um, it sets you up for failure. You can, only, you can only win so many matches. You're going to lose. You're going to win. But really, it's about enjoying it being present, because no matter what, Olympic trials in a month, NCAAs does not matter. <laughs> like, NCAAs is awesome, I'm gonna do my best, but everyone in the Olympic trials bracket, I'm already qualified, everyone in the Olympic trials bracket's already an NCAA champ. It's just going into a larger and larger pond, so this is just a part along the process, and I'm gonna give my full effort, but I know it doesn't stop here. No matter what happens tomorrow, to ride into training for Olympic trials. And then the next thing. Okay, let's go over here to the left. Bo, as I said that to your high school teammate, you know, that match has happened probably a million times in the room. What was the mentality going into it, knowing you're, you're wrestling somebody who you've trained with for so many years? I think just be at peace with it. Really be at peace. Go out there. Just wrestle. Really just wrestle. Game plan should not change. Do what I got to do. I'm sure he comes out to do what he's going to do. Everyone you're wrestling, if you start catering to other people, you start overthinking it too much. I'm a real big overthinker. Um, giving away a little secret, practically every single thing I do is on an alarm, in a notes app, everything. How many calories, how much I'm sleeping, how many, like, it, it's a long, it's not, it's not OCD, but maybe, I don't know. So just letting go of that, just wrestle, don't overthink it. We all got in the sport because we love it. You guys are all here because you love it. The more you start thinking about what you're going to do, you, you let the thoughts come and go. There's a difference. Okay, here on the front row. Bo, you're always smiling, but is a mo in a moment like that, you say it's just part of the process, but to, to punch your ticket to the national championship, is that smile a little bit bigger after a moment like that? <sighs> I'm, I'm happy I performed well. 
you know, I'm happy. I was firing some shots. Uh, I got a turn. That's really like the highlight of my day. Uh, the highlight of my day was getting a turn in a folk style match. I'm not, more of a freestyle guy. They're not letting me lock hands for a gut wrench. So figuring that out, that's, that's pretty fun. Anything else for Bo? Okay, Bo. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow.